We turn now to a remarkable story involving a teenager diagnosed with severe autism. She's unable to speak a word, but thanks to years of expensive and intensive therapy, this 13-year-old has made a remarkable breakthrough. John McKenzie has her story. Carly Fleischman has severe autism. She is unable to speak a word. But thanks to years of intensive therapy, this 13-year-old made a remarkable breakthrough. Two years ago, working with pictures and symbols and a computer keyboard, she started typing, spelling words. The computer became her voice. It feels hard. All of these words started to pour out of her. It was almost, it was just sort of an exciting moment because we didn't realize that she had all these words. And it was one of those sort of moments that in my career I don't think I'll ever forget. I mean, it was really special. First finish your sentence and then you'll go. Then Carly began opening up, describing what it was like to have autism and why she makes odd noises, why she hits herself. It feels like my legs are on fire and over a million ants are crawling up my arms. Writing about her frustrations with her siblings and how she understands their jokes. Asking, when can she go on a date? And we were stunned. I mean, we realized inside was this intelligent, articulate, emotive person uh, that we had never met. This was just unbelievable because it opened up a whole new way of looking at her. This is what Carly wants people to know about autism. It's hard to be autistic because no one understands me. People just look at me and assume that I am dumb because I can't talk or act differently than them. I think people get cleared with things that look or seem different than them. If we had not done what we have done for her, if we had not had the opportunity, if we had not had the drive and the energy to do it, like so many families don't, this kid would not be what she is today. We never would have seen that she could write these things. How articulate she is, how, uh, how intelligent she is. Therapists say the key lesson from Carly's story is for families to never give up, to be ever creative in helping children with autism find their voice. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York. Amazing. And you can learn more about Carly's story on the broadcast edition of World News Tonight.